Hey, Jen Kern, Jen Kern is with us. She's one of the brightest gals we know. And uh, she's a Republican strategist, contributed to the Hill, a former spokesperson for the California Republican Party. That First of all, welcome, Jen, to the show. Thank you so much. How impossible was that, being a Republican in California, even though you had the great, you had Arnold Schwarzenegger, of course, the guy that wrote the book, Ronald Reagan, yep. out there. But nowadays, a, a spokesman for the party, why? And can we start there? We <laughs> talked about it before we went on the air. We, we, oh, we actually did a whole interview before we went on the air. Because I'm so, I'm so confused. AOC is down at the border. Right. And, and then, of course, she makes this something. I, I said, forgive me, respectfully. I don't hate anybody. Right. But just objectively, something going on with her. Like you said, with her eyes darting. There's some kind of yeah. emotional thing happening to her. She's not being objective. Why doesn't she, and I objectively present that to the Democratic Party, go and see all the homeless that Gavin Newsom just lets, that Dianne Feinstein and, and all the California, uh, uh, Adam Schiff, he doesn't, they don't care about all the homeless. No. It's an epidemic out there now. It is an epidemic. And, and here's what, if you ask any former homeless person, and I have in San Francisco, yeah. if they wish someone would have been easier or harder on them, they always say, I wish someone would have been more hard on us in terms of not letting us sleep on the street, not making it more permissive yeah, yeah. To, to shoot up heroin yeah. on the corner. Uh, you ask any former homeless person, they will tell you that. And and what is happening in Los Angeles on Skid Row, uh, which has now gone beyond Skid Row, you can't go downtown Los Angeles without seeing these people it's cooking on the sidewalks. It, it's nuts. It's downtown. It's downtown. downtown. Mm -hmm. So Beverly Hills, of course. I, I was just in Beverly Hills. Boy, it looks great. It does. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I mean, if they don't. If you just uh, fly to LA, <laughs> get off, and go to your destination, you're probably fine. But, but look, you, you look at some of these diseases coming back to yes, places like LA yes. and San Francisco. Oh, oh. Typhus, typhoid fever, things that we haven't seen since the medieval era. It, it's really a shame. And and it's again, it's the Democratic Party. They're not doing a a service to their fellow humans by doing that yeah so and uh, w why doesn't ASA go there and what about the industry? can we go here and then and then Frankie gave me some nice questions I must ask uh, because I want to get into the debates the Democratic debates but uh, as a person who's dedicated his life to last 25 years to inner city at-risk youth yeah uh, where are the Democrats <laughs> what, what how if you go to Chicago and I and I got to this discussion with a friend on the air the other day it's like where was Barack Obama on the south side of Chicago he's building a library there has he walked? Right. Has he gone there two o'clock in the morning? I have my friends in Chicago call say they can't drive to, through certain areas because of you know bullets will go flying. And 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 then I talked in Kentucky the other day. Frankie and I chatted about this poor kid. He sees his his uh, wife have uh, his girlfriend have kid uh, twins or whatever they were. He walks out. He gets shot. And who are the suspects? 14, 17 year olds. This is an epidemic in the inner cities of the United States. Where are the Democrats, Jen? Well, this is one of the big scams that's being perpetrated by the Democratic Party, is that they care about minorities, that they care about inner cities. They don't. Yeah. All they care about is getting reelected and, and putting you know, the controls on the rest of us. Uh, this is why we're seeing movements like the walk away movement, yeah. hashtag walk away, yep. coming out. I think Donald Trump is going to win in a coalition of Democrats, independents, and Republicans, the likes of which we haven't seen since Ronald Reagan, and it might even surpass Ronald Reagan wow. because people are starting to wake up to this across the country. Yeah. Uh, Tip O'Neill said it. Um, Will Rogers also said it. All politics is local. Yeah. And when people look around their local communities yeah. Yeah. and they're stepping over heroin needles yeah. on the subway yeah. in San yeah. Francisco and they're stepping over, pardon me for anyone eating breakfast, but stepping over human piles of feces oh. on the sidewalks in Los Angeles and San Francisco, the jig is up. Yeah, it's up. Uh, Jen Curtin's right there. She knows what she's talking about. And uh, I know you've been a writer for the uh, presidential primary debates before. What did you think of the Democratic debates? I mean, you couldn't make it up, man. How great was that? Come on. You know, the, the biggest, everyone asked for winners and losers yeah, on yeah, night yeah, two. Yeah. I said uh, the, the biggest loser was actually night number one, because after night number two occurred, <laughs> you couldn't remember who the first ten were, right? It's so um, true. So, so I was a writer for the uh, debates back when Republicans had 17 candidates, the most ever in American yeah, history. Yeah. Uh, Democrats have now surpassed that. And it, it'll be interesting to, to see who fares well here. I think Kamala Harris did pretty well. Uh, but again, she's got a record in California that she's going to have to defend. Oh, It'll get yeah. awfully interesting. See, see, mm -hmm. see you with the the uh -huh. female intuition thing uh -huh. there. <laughs> I, you're not even thinking that. You're right because she was strong. If you say something with conviction, 
and they always tell you on talk radio when I uh, you say you can't marginalize right. if she's and it's her argument to Joe Biden was flawed the, yeah. the argument was flawed because yeah. he he said no he just wants to get busing and, and and you got to talk about busing how bad was busing I'll tell you right now this is me talking you gonna bust a kid out of his own community why not fix that community so right. you don't have to bust the kid out of there for crying out loud right. so the vice president <laughs> was not wrong now her all of a sudden everybody's giving money to Kamala Harris and and those guys so you're absolutely right so she because when she was in California the deterioration of California started yes oh for sure and in fact, she was not only in California; she was in San Francisco, oh, the man, first major right. city to have the problem right. and the homeless. That all spiked when she sat on some key commissions, which, by the way, she got uh, hmm. by dating hmm. Jerry Brown. Is that is that true? It Wait, is true. Whoa, 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 whoa. She did, did she read Jerry Brown? I'm sorry, Willie Brown. Willie Brown. I'm sorry, Willie, Willie Brown. Brown. It was the Brown. Uh, remember the old mayor, Willie Brown. She was seen on his arm, San Francisco. Oh, he Chronicle. was married at the time. That's important. He was married ah, at the time. Who am I to judge, Jen? <laughs> but. But apparently they all had an arrangement, so everything's fine. But but if not for dating Willie Brown, Kamala Harris would not have had two uh, politically appointed commission jobs, which paid her $400,000 over the course Holy of five years. Moly. That's how she got her start in wow, politics. And wow. look, I don't woman shame other women, but yeah, yeah. Kamala Harris, when you look at it, at the core is no feminist because yeah. she got her first two oh. positions uh, because of her boyfriend. Wow, Jeff, you know, we got to go. Love having you with us. I wanted to talk to you about Antifa, what's going on in Antifa. My gosh, in Portland. And, and this, this kid that got hurt, Andy Nyo, is, is he a client? He's a client of mine, and his attorney is a client of mine. She's one of the top people that defend all these Trump supporters getting beaten up at rallies, egged. This you remember the... Sa San Jose a couple years ago? Yeah, yeah. Those Trump supporters got egged and beaten and chased from the yard. Uh, boy, this is a real problem. President Trump needs to have the FBI and the DOJ look into this. Well said. I believe that they need to be designated a domestic terror organization. Wow. If you compare wow. them to other groups that have had less violence, the groups like yeah. the Environmental Liberation Front, ELF, that burned some condos in San, San Diego yeah, some years yeah, ago, yeah, yeah. Uh, compare it to Bill Ayers and the Weather Underground years ago that didn't harm a single person wow. despite wanting wow. to. Antifa has actually seriously injured more people than both of those groups combined. Yet those groups are on the yeah. terror list and, and Antifa is not. They need to be designated that. Uh, Jen, stick around. We'll say good night. We'll say goodbye to, uh, at, at the 8 o'clock hour. If you, can you do this? Give yeah, me a sure. couple more minutes because sure. i got to go to Debbie on traffic right now. Uh, Debbie, good morning.